Okay, here we are. Welcome. It's a beautiful day. It's a great day to sing. It's a great day to dance and move our bodies and breathe. So let's get up and do our warm up. So make yourself plenty of space. So we're going to start out with a nice deep breath. Let's reach our branches up to the sky and stretch our bodies. Feel your roots going into the earth and your branches stretching up toward that hot, beautiful sun. And then stretch your branches out. Feel how much space you can take up in the world. This is all your space, the big tree. And then stretching down toward the earth and still feel your roots in the ground. And let's take another deep breath. Oh, doesn't that feel different after you stretch? I love that. All right, so listen and echo. And a deep breath. <sighs> Make sure while you give yourself a hug that you let that breath all the way out. And then when we do our roller coasters, we're going to take that breath all the way back in before we start. Ready? And one big one. Beautiful. And now with a Wonderful. Okay. Can you feel that in your body? Now that we breathed like that and made those sounds in our mouth, can you feel how it's a little bit different? That gets us all ready to sing. And we always start out with the same song, don't we? This is a little twisted. There we go. Okay. So, same song that we all know. How'd you do? How'd you do? Come jam with me. How'd you do, my friends? Come jam with me. It's a brand new day. Come jam with me. And we'll sing and dance the time away. My name is Louie. Come jam with me. Your turn. Come jam with me. Come jam with me. And we'll sing and dance the time How'd you do? How'd you do? Come jam with me. 
How to do my friends, come jam with me. It's a brand new day, come jam with me. And we'll sing and dance the time away. It's a brand new day, come jam with me. And we'll sing and dance the time away. All right, great. Well, we are going to be playing banjo a lot today, a whole lot. We're going to start out with banjo for Little Junko. So let's, before we do this, let's just review just quickly all the signs that we're going to do for Little Junko. So remember, Little Junko, that's just a sign for any bird, but we use it for Junko. We could put a J before it, but I don't think we have time. J. <laughs> right, little Junko. <laughs> That's tricky, isn't it? You don't need to do that. Just little Junko is enough. Pecking at the seeds, right? As if you have seeds in your palm and then little birdies pecking at them. And remember, that's not an American Sign Language official sign. That's not a sign for peck, but it's part of a sign for chicken, like this. You do chicken like this. So that's why we use that. So pecking at the seeds, little Junko on the ground. So we sign ground by feeling that rich soil in our fingers and then we indicate the ground itself like this. With one hand goes around, the other holds still. So on the ground. Little junko in front. Remember front. Your left hand goes up like this facing you, the palm facing you. Front. The other hand comes up and hides it. So front of my... Then you just turn your hands and make your window and open it of my window. And again, it's not officially, you don't have to look through it, but you can. And I have fun looking through my window when I open it. So in front of my window, sweet. And that starts with the fingers pointing together, all together. The thumb and the fingertips are all together, right at the side of your chin. And then your hand opens, goes around and shuts. So stretches open as it goes. So it's really the sign for pretty or beautiful, isn't it? It's not really the sign for sweet, but we use sweet in that way. Sweet little Junko. All right, so let's sing it once. I'll sign it with you, and then I'm going to pick up the banjo, and we'll sing it another a little more. But just let's just sing that chorus part first together. Ready? Little Junko pecking at the seeds. Little Junko on the ground. Little Junko in front of my window. Sweet little Junko. Beautiful. That's <laughs> beautiful. Okay, so I'll play banjo now and you can do that, right? Little Junko pecking at the seeds. Little Junko on the ground. Little Junko in front of my window. Sweet little Junko again. Little Junko pecking at the seeds. Little Junko on the ground. Little Junko in front of my window. Sweet little Junko. Other birds. Other birds fly right to my window. They hop on the feeder and eat their fill. Lucky for you, they drop lots of seeds so that you may dine right there where you Little Junko pecking at the seeds, little Junko on the ground, little Junko in front of my window, sweet little Junko. Little Junko pecking at the seeds, little Junko on the ground, little Junko in front of my window, sweet little Junko. Other birds, other birds fly right to my window, they hop so much fun watching you do all the signs that is great and singing with me all right 
So we're going to play a, a game now. And this game, if you have a large group of people who are visiting your house and you want to play this game, there are directions in your songbook on, on the, um, the Jolly is the Miller page that are going to explain how to do it because it's different from how, from how we're going to do it today with our small family groups. So I'm figuring if you're watching this from home, there's probably maybe two or three or maybe four people who are playing the game. So I'm going to teach you a different version of this so that you can play it easily just with this small family group. So we're going to stand up. Oh, you know, this is really simple, but let's sing it first. Oh. <laughs> Jolly is the miller who lives by the mill. The wheel goes round with a right good will. One hand in the hopper and the other in the sack. We first step forward and we then step back. Now you will notice that I just sang it differently from the way I sing it in the recording. In the recording, it goes the right steps forward and the left steps back. That's for the larger group. So instead, we're going to sing, we first step forward and we then step back. Okay? And these are some of the, we're going to be walking you know, and, and we're going to be doing some signs. And part of it is what I just did. We're going to do, when we do the wheel goes round, we're going to do this with our hands while we're walking. Yeah, yeah, that's right. And then when we do one hand in the hopper, we're going to take our right hand and point to the outside. And then we can take our left hand. But let's go ahead and everybody just point that head over your, oh, let's see. Uh, yeah, this should work. Oh, I yes. Use your outside hand. So if you have, the way you're going to do this, all right, I'm just going to stand up and start teaching it to you now. We'll do it. We'll do the, the whole thing as we're standing together. So we're going to start out. I'll show you the hand thing when we get back to that. We're going to start out with our back to our partner. Now, if you have three people, one of them is going to be a shadow. I generally suggest that the shadow is the youngest child and they shadow the grown-up if there's a grown-up with two kids. So the older child will be by themselves and with a back to the grown-up and the younger child's going to be right next. The shadow's going to be right next to the grown-up. So if there's just two of you, you're going to be back to back. And when we sing the first part, Jolly is the miller who lives by the bill, we're going to take big steps forward as far away as we can get. Now, make sure that when you do this, you've got room in both directions to go away from each other because you're going to go pretty far away with big steps on the first line. Like this, you're going to go, Jolly is the miller who lives by the mill. Oops, where did I go? I'll come back. And then I'm way down the other end and I'm going to turn around and on the next line I'm going to take small steps going back toward my partner and turn my hands at the same time. So I'm going to be going instead of Jolly is the miller with big steps, it's going to be the wheel goes round with the right good will. And I'm going to stop before I get to my partner. A good ways away. Now if you've got a shadow, they're going to turn with you and then come back up. But you're going to take small steps and you're going to stop oh, about four steps away from your partner. So a pretty good distance away from your partner. So let's try that much. Ready? So back to back with your partner, shadows right next to you, and here we go. Jolly is the miller who lives by the mill, turn small steps, the wheel goes round with the right good will. Now we stop there. So stop in that spot. Now take your outside hand. If you've got um, a shadow with you, one is going to point down and one's going to point over their head and then you're going to reverse that. If you're just facing your partner, it doesn't matter. You can both do right hand. One hand in the hopper and then your hand over your head. The other in the sack. All right, very good. So can you work that out if you've got a shadow so you don't bump into each other's hands? One hand in the hopper and the other in the sack. You're going to use your outside hand for everything. The one that's not next to your shadow. Okay, good, good, good. All right, then we do that part. Let's do it again. Ready? One hand in the hopper and the other in the sack. 
Now we sing, we first step forward. So we're going to take two steps forward. And on the word forward, we're going to clap our partner's two hands. If you've got a shadow, you each use the outside hand to clap your one partner's hand. Yeah, beautiful. So we go, we first step forward and we then step back. So when you step back, you're a ways away from your partner. You can take good, good large steps. That's the whole thing. All right, let's try the whole thing. We walk down with big steps. We turn and come back with small steps, turning the wheel. Then we stop away from our partner, point with our hand for the hopper and the sack, and then do first step forward, and we then step back. So right now, everybody's going to turn around singly and start walking again. Ready? Here we go. Jolly is the miller who lives by the mill. Turn the wheel goes round with the right good will. One hand in the hopper and the other in the sack. We first step forward and we then step back. Turn, Jolly is the miller who lives by the mill. Turn, wheel goes round with the right good will. Stop one hand in the hopper, the other in the sack. We first step forward and we then step back. Turn, Jolly is a miller who lives by the mill. Turn, the wheel goes round with the right good will. One hand in the hopper and the other in the sack. We first step forward and we then step back. Turn, Jolly is a miller who lives by the mill. Turn, wheel goes round with the right good will. One hand in the hopper and the other in the sack. We first step forward and we then step last time. Jolly is a miller who lives by the mill. Turn, wheel goes round with the right good will. One hand in the hopper, the other in the sack. We first step forward and we then step back. Oh yeah, we first step forward and we then step back once more. We first step forward and we then step back. <laughs> Great. Bow to your partner. Bow to your shadow. Bow to anybody else who's in the game. Say thank you. Very nice. Okay. Okay, so Banjo is going to help us out again. But Banjo needs to be in a different key. So... I'm going to just try putting, uh, first I'm going to tune it. And then I'm going to put this on. I'm going to turn this one up. today and um, just sing all the words that you know okay and do all the ho-hos with me definitely ready the squirrel is a pretty little thing it carries a bushy tail it steals away the farmer's grain and hearts it on the rail ready the squirrel is a little, little thing carries a bushy tail it steals away the farmer's grain hearts it on the rail Once more, ho, 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 hearts it on the rail. The partridge is a pretty little bird. It carries a speckled breast. The partridge is a pretty little bird. It carries a speckled breast. It steals away the farmer's grain. Carries it to its nest. Ho, 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 carries it to its nest. Once more, ho, ho. Now, do you remember the third verse with the tails? The raccoon's tail is ringed all round. The possum's tail is bare. The rabbit's got no tail at all, just a bunch of hair. Ready? The raccoon's 
possum's tail is ringed all round, the possum's tail is bare. The rabbit's got no tail at all, just a bunch of hair. Ho oh, ho, ho oh, ho, just a bunch of hair again. Ho oh, ho, ho oh, ho, just a bunch of hair. First verse again. The squirrel is a pretty little thing, it carries a bushy tail. It steals away the farmer's grain, hearts it on the rail. Ho oh, ho, ho oh, ho, hearts it on the rail. Ho oh, ho, ho oh, ho, hearts it on the rail. Great, great, okay. All right, so listen and echo. We're gonna do some selfish patterns. So listen, echo. I'm going to tip this down just a little bit so you can see my do, do, here's my do, do, me, me, echo, me, do, re, me, do, re, re, me, so, Great. Okay. So, today for our TT Toss, we're going to do something different. We're going to do listen, echo, clap. So, I will give you a pattern. I want you to echo the pattern back to me and then clap it with me. Okay? So, it'll be three sections. So, we're just going to start out with a really simple one. Ready? Ta, 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 ta. Echo. Clap. Next one is ta ta ti ti ta. Clap. Good. The next one is ta ti ti ta ta. Clap. Last one is. T T ta ta ta. Great. Okay. Okay, so we are going to sing our quiet song. Are you ready for this? So we're gonna start with blowing out the lights. You can help me blow out mine. You can blow them out at yours if you have any lights on. One, two, three. <gasps> Fairy dust to Robin, Little Light Mouse, Baby Mouse, and Little Mouse. Some for Pony, some for Banjo, and definitely some for you at home, Fairy Dust. Oh, some for me too. Mmm, delicious. Okay, so we're going to need to put the banjo in a different key now not too far away from where it is. Here comes. 
comes the hog. You ready? Had me a hog. Hog pleased me. Fed my hog in yonder's tree. The hog went crucy, crucy, crucy. The hen went caw, caw, caw. And the dog went boo, boo, boo. And the cat went Sheep, the sheep pleased me, fed my sheep in yonder's tree. The sheep went ba, ba, ba. The hog went crucy, crucy, crucy. The hen went ca, ca, ca. And the dog went boo, boo, boo. And the cat went filletty. Ah, mmm, here comes a cow. Had me a cow, cow pleased me. Fed my cow in yonder street. The cow went moo, 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 and the sheep went ba, ba, ba. The hog went crucy, crucy, crucy. The hen went ca, 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 and the dog went boo, boo, boo. The cat went filleting. Calf's turn. Had me a calf. The calf pleased me. Fed my calf in yonder street. The calf went ma, ma, ma. And the cow went moo, moo, moo. The sheep went ba, ba, ba. The hog went crucy, crucy, crucy. The hen went ca, ca, ca. And the dog went boo, boo, boo. And the cat went <laughs> Thank you, Banjo. One, two, three. <gasps> okay. So, announcements. What do I have for announcements? Um, one thing I've been thinking about, I always think about this. Joseph Chilton Pierce wrote a wonderful book. Um, about called called the magical child and he talks about how children learn and the my favorite piece of what he taught was how we take our children and expose them to all sorts of rich environments in the world out in the world and they absorb it all and this is stuff that you see all the time it all goes in it all goes in and even if you don't notice what is happening it's all going in. But then later on in the child's play, when the child has time for quiet play, these things that they've absorbed from their rich environments bubble up in their play. This is where the deeper learning takes place. This is where they're building brain synapses in that quiet play with it bubbling up. So by this point, we're, we're up to week five already. I can't believe it in the fall session. So now these songs, hopefully you've been listening to them a lot, singing along, looking at your songbooks and playing the games. These songs are really starting to sing in. So you may be beginning to see them pop up in your child's play. And um, there's so much going on at that time. So, you know, you come to class with me once a week and we all have a great time. At least I do. I love, I love having you in class. And, um, you know, we have, we have fun. We do these cool things. The children either participate directly with what we're doing or they don't. Sometimes they're in the background moving around because they have to move in order to absorb from their environment. They have to be moving or doing some, some other activities. Sometimes they're drawing. Sometimes children will feel really absorbed in the music and wanting to draw at the same time. So all of it's going in at that time. So just watch, keep an eye out, keep an ear out for if any of these things, sometimes it's the warm up, the swoop, things like that, or the things come out in, in the play. But sometimes it'll be a piece of a song here and there. So yeah. Keep listening to the recordings, keep singing along with them, keep singing the songs on your own. Even if you don't know the whole song, sing whatever you know of it. And because um, it's all it's all great. It's all part of how children are absorbing these songs. And especially, you know, at this age, they're so tied in with the grown-ups still, so tied in with their parents, their grandparents, their primary caregivers. So anytime you are interacting with them with these songs, then it's like, you know, all sorts of great stuff happens. It's 
really cool. It's really cool. So, I love hearing your stories too. And um, I love seeing your pictures that you're drawing, all that. You know, keep them coming. It's really fun for me to see what's what's being um, inspired at home. Really cool. All right, let's sing our goodbye song. You ready? One more song. See you later, alligator. Bye-bye, fly. After a while, crocodile. Time to say goodbye. Toodaloo, kangaroo. Chow, meow. Adios, nanny. Good goodbye for the children, bye-bye to the grown-ups, the moms and the dads, and all the grandparents too. Bye-bye to the pets, and bye-bye to the stuffed animals. Bye-bye Louie, bye-bye-bye. Bye-bye Pony, bye-bye Banjo. Bye-bye to Little Mouse, and Baby Mouse, and Little White Mouse, and Robin. Bye-bye-bye. See you later, alligator. Bye-bye, fly. After a while, crocodile. Time to say goodbye. Toodaloo, kangaroo. Chow, meow, meow. Adios, nanny goat. Goodbye for now. Adios, nanny goat. Goodbye for now. All right, great. I had so much fun with you today. I hope you had a good time. Um, I will look forward to seeing you next week. And in the meantime, have a great week and have fun with whatever comes next in your day. I hope it's great. And I will see you soon. All right, thanks so much for coming and singing with me. All right, take care.